Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be working on a small project for the RX-7. I want to apologize. I know that we've uh, been teasing a lot with the motor being pulled and the turbo kit reveal and we are going to be working on those soon. Trust me, I want to work on it as much as you want to see it. However, it's the holiday season and we're still waiting for the engine to be completely finished. Talked to the guys at Lucky 7 yesterday. Sounds like they're close to being finished, but we need a few more parts to arrive. Probably going to be after the new year. We'll pick it up and we'll get started on that. <clears throat> FC's still here, just sleeping. Can't wait to dig in and get working on more. But today, <clears throat> we're going to start by doing something that needs to get checked off the list. I've got tons of stuff to do before we even think about getting the engine in and getting it started. So we're going to work on that today. Today's project is going to be an electric fan instead of the clutch fan. I want to get this, which is an electric fan, for a Nissan Quest, actually, from the late 90s, mounted to the radiator for the FC. From what I've read and what I've seen, this is the best fit with the best flow for the best price to performance, yada, yada, yada for getting an electric fan on the RX-7, or the FC model RX-7. So this one I bought new. Uh, I want to have a warranty on it, and also it's going to be a brand new build, so I want it to look nice and clean, uh, instead of being a junkyard pull, but I know they're really affordable from the junkyard. So anyway, let's go ahead and test the fan, make sure it's all working before we start drilling holes in it and voiding the warranty. So all that I'm wiring up here is a, albeit, crude but correct relay harness just hit, attaching it directly to the battery I have because we don't have the chassis to work with so I have no chassis grounds I have no ignition on switch but I just want to test this as I mentioned before we cut it up so here's our relay fuse from the power. We have it hooked to the fan. Here, fan is grounded, relay is grounded. The positive side, tape down. And this exposed white cable should be the switch for the relay, and this fan should turn on. So let's see. That doesn't sound good. This is the first time I've started it up and it's been sitting in its box. It's brand new. So I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, I tried redoing the connections just to make sure they're good. I checked continuity in the relay and all my connections and I'm getting right at 12 volts of draw. A little bit less because there's obviously no alternator, but when I connect it still, it's like it doesn't catch. And yeah, that's, that's not going to work. It's a brand new fan. That's not going to work. Back in the box. Okay. All right, 
off to O'Reilly's to get another one. <clears throat> Luckily they said they have another one in stock. Hopefully that one works. Uh, the joys of backyard mechanic life, right? Anyway, what's the... It's giving me directions. I can't play that for you. You'll know where I live. Uh, <clears throat> what's the most amount of times you had to go back to the auto parts store um, in the middle of a project? I don't know. Leave me in the note in the comments below. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. Got in and out pretty quick. For being Christmas Eve Eve, there's not very many people on the road or in that shopping mall, which is a small miracle in itself. Anyway, <clears throat> hope my glasses don't look too messed up. I totally smoked it with that yoga mat when I tossed it up front, and they were pretty bent, but look all right. Anyway, let's get back home so we can finish this. Hopefully this one works better. I did test, I did feel it up. <clears throat> did feel it up. I did take it out and tried to move the fan blades. And it was much better right away. The old one, the fan blades wobbling inside. And this one, it's straight. So that should be the difference. And hopefully everything else is smooth sailing. I do not want to make another trip to O'Reilly's today. Okay, we're back home. We've got a new fan, exact same model, but the blades don't wobble. So hopefully that was our problem. Um, anyway, let's hook it up and give it a shot. All right. Moment of truth. Now that we know the fan works, we get our workstation set up and grab everything we need. I'm going to move the dash because that is for a different video. Well, from the looks of it, I'm going to have to do a little more custom fabbing on this than I thought. Um, by fabbing, I mean mostly cutting, obviously, to make it fit and mount the brackets. But it looks pretty promising, so I'm going to start marking it out and getting that done. been tedious so far clearancing everything but it's looking great I'm gonna show you how it's fitting so right now it's just held in place by sticking underneath these uh, filler necks but it's getting pretty close I mean it looks almost like an OEM fit there's just a few areas where we have this gap so I'm gonna cut some more pieces to get it to sit flush and then hopefully get some mounting hardware on there. The hardest 
thing I'm running into is trimming the sides of the cowl itself. What's happened is these sidewalls are too tall and I have to get a nice even cut so they sit flush with the fan, uh, the radiator itself. And it's just a little difficult to get that cut straight on this big piece of material with the Dremel. But I'm almost there and it's about to pay off. I can feel it. All right, after much measuring and grinding and cutting with the Dremel, I finally got it to sit flush so it has a nice seal from the fan housing to the radiator. Take a look. This sits nice and flush now. It does need to be bolted in place. So what I'm gonna work on now is making those brackets to bolt them on. This is the aftermath. These are the remnants of everything I cut off. So it took quite a lot of modification, but I'm happy with the result. And hopefully when we flick it on here in a little bit, it flows really strong and it makes it worthwhile. I got my $5 Harbor Freight hand riveter and some elbow brackets that I'm going to work on making into the side brackets to hold the fan in place. Without a vice clamp to hold these in place, I'm just going to screw it into this board and drill it on low speed so that I can uh, keep my hands safe. So with my drilled out bracket placed here, I'm able to use the stock bolt location on the side of the radiator. I can secure that in there. And we're gonna get rivets into this piece right here to hold it to the actual plastic cowl. So we'll give that a shot. Would you look at that? That's pretty cool. I've never actually used rivets before. That's on there. Awesome. Okay, for all intents and purposes, it's done, it's together. Yes, I need to clean up the brackets a little bit. Piece of hardware didn't work. I've got it on with a zip tie. But after lots of tedious work cutting it to fit, I think it's done. I've got my relay jump pack here, and I'm gonna see if it fires up. We know the fan already works, but after we modified everything here to make sure that when it hits full speed that it's not uh, hitting anything and it's clearance correctly and I want to see how much air it's moving so fingers crossed ready Oh my gosh, you guys, I know it may seem like something really simple and really small, an electric fan, but just getting something done on this project is huge. It's great for my stress. This is a massive project and it's something that I haven't done before and sometimes it can just seem overwhelming. So 
just another thing off the list. This has to get done. Cooling the engine is going to be very, very important. So it's nice to know I had this knocked out of the way for when we get the car back from body work and we get the engine back from assembly. So I think what we're going to do next time is probably get everything written down and we have an idea of what we need to do and the things I still need to purchase so we can get the car running. I'm giving myself 90 days which is pretty aggressive, to have this ready by the end of March. And so my lease is up on my current daily driver and hopefully I can use this FC for some of my daily driving, if not all of it. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.